Welcome back. So I thought I'd show you guys uh, some improvements I've made to uh, Green Gardens. And also, I'm ready to show you guys my town in Scarlet Sands. But first, let's, let's show you some of the uh, changes I made to the aquarium. Not too many changes. But I did make it so in the setting. I did go into the settings to make it easier to see all of the uh, fish in the tank. So let's go take a look at the aquarium first. And then we'll start looking at some of the other changes and buildings I've added to Green Gardens as well. Alright, let's go inside. As you can see, you can see the fish all really easily, and it almost looks like they're flying in midair, but they are in water. It just, uh, the settings change it so that way when you look through glass, you can't see any water. Now let's go down here, and back up here. I made this room a little bit bigger. I took out the wall and decided to not make it a room at all, to save space, so that way I could have more buildings in my towns on this island. And, as you can see, you can see the fish a whole lot easier than you used to, which is cool. Much easier to see, although, you know, you still can't see them all from this point of view. But you can still see more than you used to, for sure. Including the jellyfish and the nautilus. So, cool, cool. Alright, let's take a look at the rest of the tank. See, now you can see the fish much easier than you used to be able to. So, I think I like this better because I enjoy being able to see the fish a whole lot easier, too. Oh, there's my favorite, manta ray. <laughs> and looks like, um, hmm, looks like, uh, my whale shark is stuck again. Ugh. Uh, it's just not enough space for him. Oh well. I'll make sure to uh, not put a big, huge building in the middle of the uh, aquarium next time. So that way he has more space to swim around. Um, and then down here, you can see the angler fish a whole lot easier. So that's really cool. Alright, let's move on. Oh, let me fix that uh, fish first. The uh, the shark needs to move. I need to get him unstuck. Let's see. Oh, let's try this. There we go. Unstuck, at least for the moment. I wonder if I can get the manta ray down below. Is there any spaces I can put him down? on the bottom. Hmm. On this side. Oh, this side would work, but it's not quite level enough. Um, let's see. Nope, that side's not gonna work either. Ah, okay. Well, I guess I have to do it up here. There's just no other, there's no other space. Let's see. Can I do it here? There we go. No, oh, he's moving. Much better. I'll have to fix it so he has more space next time around. Alright. That's pretty much all I wanted to show you guys for the aquarium. So, uh, let's move on. Alright. Now, as you can see, over here we have a shop now. That wasn't there last time. Finally added a shop to this location. Oh, there goes the uh, merchant. Looks like she's uh, done for the day. Let's see if there's any uh, goodies in here to, to buy. Oh, there's a couple. There's a couple over here, too. Looks like uh, I'll need to restock on some items, but not a lot, at least. That's good. Good, good. All right. Awesome. And as you can see back there, there's another door. That's her private residence. We won't bother her uh, private residence. So we'll move on. That's all I wanted to show you that was in the first district that I've added. Now let's move on to the second district. There's one big change. 
It's in this house here. Remember, this was an empty room, with the exception of a few plants. Now, there's a few plants, there's a nice comfy sofa, and uh, a fireplace, too. So, you know, this is a chill-out room, so now everyone can come in here and just chill out, relax on the couch if they want to, um, warm up by the fireplace if they want. Alright, now let's move on to the third district, where I've also made another change to the third district. It's all the way over here towards the middle of the area. Now, if you recall last time, this was a building. There was a door actually right where I'm standing. And this was like the beginning of an indoor building. Well, I made this entire section outside. And uh, I even um, made it into a sort of outside eating area with obviously a roof above it as well. And a nicer table. The other table was old. This one's nice and new. and. It keeps the bread basket nice and dry when it rains, so, you know, much nicer for sure. And uh, this is a private residence here, and it's actually been upgraded, so we're actually going to take a look. This one is perfect. Now, the person who lives here is Lillian, and she loves cool stuff, so she's got a bunch of cool things, like uh, she's got these cool Japanese-type swords, and some swords hanging up. And uh, the couch is also a cool item as well, so she's got that. And she's got a TV screen. Look, she's uh, got it on the Animal Planet. Uh, looks like she's watching a nature program on manta rays. <laughs> she must think they're cool as well. So, pretty cool. Pretty cool. So, yeah, that's, been ch that's also been changed. Her original room wasn't as cool as that, for sure. So, much nicer, and it's bigger than it used to be. Yeah, so I think this whole new area here is nice. Oh, and look, see, residents are eating here. They enjoy eating some food here too, so that's good. Well, that's basically all I wanted to show you here in Green Gardens. So let's move on to Scarlet Sands, the uh, the main town for this video that I wanted to show you guys. Now you guys really didn't see much of Scarlet Sands in any of the other prior videos, so. Um, that's because it wasn't really finished yet. Now it's almost completely finished, so it's it's time for it to make its it's time for it to make its debut. And uh, we'll start it off by being inside the uh, second floor of the uh, pyramid. Yeah. So um, no, I did not build this entire pyramid. It would have taken probably I don't know a couple hundred hours to do on my own if I had to build this pyramid by myself. Thankfully, the residents did the majority of the work. Still, I did add this, and I added a nice little pumping station to uh, the uh, top second floor of the pyramid. Uh, the miners like to come up here and lift up some barbells and, you know, get stronger. And then obviously, um, there's, a, there's a first floor, so why don't we take the stairs down to the uh, first floor? Oh, ouch. Oh. I guess I forgot where the stairs were. Oh well, nine damage isn't that bad of a drop. Let's move on. All right, so check it out. This is the second. This is the first floor of the uh, pyramid. Mostly, uh, it's pretty spacious, obviously. Um, plenty of space. We have plenty of buildings in here too, of course. Oh, and take a look. It's my saber-toothed cat. Let's take him for a ride. Take him for a spin. Oh, awesome. Sweet. Yeah, I see you can double jump. <laughs> Alright, well, let's kind of carry on. Let me show you what's in this room. This is a private residence. Got a nice green bed and green sign. Um, it's a rough and tough bedroom. And then this one is uh, a uh, neat and sweet bedroom. So, also a private residence. And then over here is our shower shower room. So we have four shower heads. So you can take a shower. So residents will come in here and take showers with towels, obviously. Um, in fact, uh, sorry, I, I got I kind of got a little dirty from that drop, so I'm gonna take a quick shower. Ah, much better. Refreshing. All right, let's move on. So over here we have our item shop, and this was the first item shop I ever actually built. 
Oh, look at this. We got some residents going inside. I wonder if they're gonna buy something. Let's see. Oh, wow. Look at that. They are gonna buy something. The merchant's hard at work, as you can see. And he just sold an item. Awesome. Ugh, oh, I never get to see that. That's a, I think that's the first time I've seen them do that. I usually just don't have the patience to wait for them to come and buy something. I just happen to be at the right place at the right time to see that. Awesome. Sweet. Cool. Well, let's go over here to the inn, or the hotel, I should say. So we have a hotel as well in this town. We have a hotel in the uh, cold town, but we also have a hotel here, so we got some Got a room with three beds in it, and this is the reception area, obviously. And then over here we have about eight beds in this room for this part of the hotel. So that's really cool. And I think about, there's only about three empty beds at night, so it's utilized for sure. And now let's come over here, and this is our kitchen diner in here for Scarlet Sands. And as you can see, they, they'll come in here and they'll eat. This is a diner after all. And um, over here is the kitchen part. And it's not like a normal restaurant, so there's no uh, door between the kitchen and the diner. And this is the bathroom, as you can see. Uh, thankfully, nobody was in there. Whew, close call. Forgot to knock. And then I have a um, restroom over here as well on this side. Knock, knock. Anybody in here? Oh, good. Like I said, nobody was in here either. Sweet move on all right well it's almost night time now usually most red residents go to sleep at night but in this town it's a little different um, it, yeah sure they stay awake in the other towns too but in this town it gets really lively at night and that's because the taverns get busy so we got a tavern over here we got two taverns in this town here's the first one and as you can see the music changes huh Nobody's in here yet, but they will be, I promise you. They will be in here soon. There will be somebody in here, for sure. Let's um, let's leave, I think. Uh, I'm sure somebody will come in here shortly. Let's go check out one of the other rooms in the meantime. Let's see here. We have a nice little, uh, re little room here. It's like a massage room, kind of. They, get, uh, they can come in here and get a massage. Um, let's see. And then over here, this is like a this is like a workshop. This is a builder's workshop. Just has a nice anvil. You can come here and make some weapons. And uh, oh, look, see, somebody's already heading to uh, that building over there. Oh, see, look, everyone's heading to the building. See, that's one of the taverns over there. So a lot of them are heading to that tavern. It looks like, but I definitely saw some people go into the other tavern. So let's go back to the first tavern. Oh, see, we got somebody here. Oh, somebody's over there is drinking. And uh, we got the darts here. They'll play darts, too. Oh, yep, see, the bartender's hard at work. Awesome. And we got a card table here. The other tavern doesn't have a card table, or the dartboards, for that matter. So, all right, let's go check out the next one. All right, oh, that's the uh, women's changing room. Uh, let's go find the men's changing room, please. Oh, right here. Here we go. So they can come in here and they can get changed because on the other side of this door is a pool. A nice big one too, pool of paradise. And see, there's some residents taking a swim. Join the pool. And you know, it's kind of nice, you know, pretty nice. And then over here we have the tavern, the second one. And now you can see that it's pretty lively. Bartenders here work hard at work too. Quite a few residents in here, for sure. Yep, nice. Then over here we have the uh, dancers changing room. So the dancers that will get on stage will come in here and change first, obviously. And then this is the dancing hall. So you can get onto these boogie boards and just kind of dance. So uh, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get in the groove for a moment. See, anybody is allowed to come onto these boogie boards and just dance <laughs> for fun. All right, well, let's move on. 
I'll see you guys in the next video.